Welcome back to Strides, Season 2, Episode 6. So, I have a plan for once. And that plan is to turn this into a library. I have done a lot of digging in here. And I am ready to move on to some building. So, let's get going. And, spoiler alert, it did not go smoothly. Also, there were plenty of distractions. So, you know, there's a lot to look forward to. So, as you can see, I've spent some time in a creative world and created a schematic. So now I just have to dig out a few more blocks and then start placing things down. So let's get going. When you're using Lightmatica, it can show you problems with different colors. And you can configure those however you want, but by default, uh, orange means that you've got the right block, but it's in the wrong state. So this is no longer highlighted in orange because this is the full height on both sides. But we're not quite ready for that yet, so I'm going to take that out for now. As I was designing this in a creative world, I went through a bunch of iterations of what I wanted things to look like. And now I can't remember if I preferred the look with the inverted stairs here, or if I preferred with bookcases all the way down. And of course, with the schematic turned off, this really doesn't look like much. I did go check in the creative world. I was going to bring you guys in there and show you, but it, it's kind of confusing. So, I'm going to stick with just doing this for now. Lunar stopped by in search of bone blocks, and I tried to give them to him, but he insisted on paying, so we had this brief weird negotiation to figure out a reasonable price. One diamond. <laughs> One diamond for a stack of bone blocks? Okay, I have 30 diamonds. What? Just name your price. No, honestly, one diamond is fine. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't even need payment. It's just you seem to insist on paying, so. Yeah, because I feel bad just kind of going around and taking stuff from people, so. Yeah, it's just... that's fair. <clears throat> I appreciate asking, for sure. As you can see, we've reached the point where Lightmatica has stopped being helpful. Because I didn't really design the entire thing in the creative world. I just sort of sketched out bits of it. So for the rest of this, I'm just going to turn Lightmatica off and I'm going to be building the normal way. I've gone and had a meal and thought about this for a little bit. And I think it's just too short. It needs to be one block taller. So I'm going to go up and make it one block taller. <laughs> The good news is I have figured out how to fix the problems I still have with this. The bad news is I'm going to be tearing out more stuff again. This side has not been changed yet. This is as I originally designed it. And I mean, I still like it. It's just after looking at it a bit, it was a little bit too plain. But, you know, I still think it looks decent. This side... A little more striking. And I think it's really going to work a lot better for what we're trying to achieve. I really needed sneaky pants and Cloud really needed to get some work done. So I convinced him that it would be more fun to ditch the work and come join me on a quest. And Kenzer joined in because I'm clearly a very good influence. And of course, since we're all pros, everything went extremely smoothly.
The next day, it was Cloud's turn to talk me into procrastinating, because he still needed the silence armor trim. This night went a lot more smoothly than the previous night, even with the discovery of the world's saddest warden. I know, it's sad. Nobody wants to play with you. I know, it's, 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 it's sad. So after uh, way too long, I, I, I think we spent three or four hours in the end raiding. But you know, it was fun. How and I had a lot of fun. Uh, but we did get silence armor trim finally, and an even bigger treasure. I wish I could play the whole thing, but I don't think that's allowed. I think I'd get a copyright strike, and that's just not good. So I'm just going to listen to this. Oh, and if you want to see something really fun, we can play it in, like, super stereo. Plus, there's a lot of other books. There's so many books. <laughs> we got a lot of books. All right, bedtime. I put the ceiling in last night, and there's just one little problem with it. I hate it, and it's ugly, and it just needs to go away. I need to do something different here. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I know it's not going to be this. Before going on the adventure with Cloud last night, I did realize a couple things about these librarians that I moved down. One, I like this is very sparse, but I like it. Um, it's a little too empty in the middle, though, and I'm trying to decide if that means that I should bring these guys over a couple, because maybe it's just too wide, or I'm not quite sure. So I finished redoing this section, and this looks a lot better to me. I'm not thrilled with this arch. I think it's, it's just a little off, whereas even two blocks wider, which is two blocks narrower than it was before, it looks more reasonable. Here is just a little bit too tight, but everything else about this space is so much better. So I'm going to stick with this. And now I'm going to go to this side. Just for fun, let's do a before and after of what this looks like without the walls. And then with the brick walls added in, it's not a super huge difference. It's just that little bit of extra depth happening and interest. And it, it takes the build from looking kind of weird to kind of cool, at least in my opinion. And I mean, I'm the one who's going to be in the space. So my opinion is the one that matters. And here it is with the lights in place. With no minecarts on top, the iron trap doors look a little weird. But once the minecarts are on top and there's lecterns in front, you're never going to notice the trap doors. And it's going to add this neat little glow right behind each of the librarians. So I think that was a good call. I appear to be continuing my tradition of wildly underestimating how much space I'm going to need for a build and how long it's going to take. I originally mapped out three corridors of this hallway. No. I originally mapped out three corridors for this library, and I was going to have it go to about here. I made the corridors a little bit narrower by, you know, four blocks, and I still need to dig out another seven uh, blocks worth of stuff. I've already got one. Now I'm going to get the other six. And you know what? I actually enjoy watching little time lapses, not like an extended thing, but a little time lapse of somebody digging out a whole bunch of material. So I don't know, maybe you guys are the same. Either way, that's what's about to happen. Enjoy the time lapse. I've dug out the area and marked where the next bit of corridor should go. 
So I'm going to go ahead and build it in another time lapse. Yes, two time lapses in a row. Enjoy. So at some point early on in the season, somebody dropped off this box in my area and I have never figured out who, but it's been months and I have posted about it in the, the private areas of our discord and nobody's claimed it. So I've decided that it is now mine and because I'm me. I felt guilty about claiming it, so I'm just putting it away. It is labeled. I I'll give it a few more months. I it's not like I need any of the stuff in it right now anyway. Lunar's got a big project on the go and needed materials. I happen to have 12 shulkers of dirt and grass I don't need right now, so I offered to give them to him. He insisted on paying, so we were back to that weird backwards negotiation again, and this time we settled on an IOU. It's, uh, just one second. I'm doing another thing I'm going to regret. <laughs> huh. I do my best not to rope people into adventures that they're going to regret. Uh, but I'm... I'm... Uh, I already have the thing with Cloud, so... <laughs> uh, well, don't murder me with that IOU. I'm gonna... I'm entrusting you with it. I shouldn't have never given one to Cloud, but... <laughs> I will do my best to make sure that you <laughs> are happy that you gave it to me. I, I think I'll be happy either way. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll have fun with it, so... All right. <clears throat> All right, well, thank you for the large amounts of dirt and grass. I do appreciate it. No problem. I'll talk to you later. Right, thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. I'm just going to put this with my spare elytra and spare rockets. And yeah, it'll be safe in my ender chest. And with that, we're done. At least for now. I've got ideas to expand this library as you can probably tell, but that can wait for later. Right now, I want to switch gears and tackle something different. And in the meantime, this world has one more space in it that I genuinely enjoy being in. It's not perfect, but it is delightful to me, so I'm happy. As always, remember to look after yourself. Oh, and this time, instead of advice, I'm going to give you a little piece of Minecraft knowledge that I only found out about a little while ago, despite having played this game for, like, 13 years. Did you know if you have a pet cat and you let it sleep with you, it will probably give you a gift in the morning. I, I don't think any of the gifts are particularly useful most of the time, but I mean, it has got to be the cutest mechanic in Minecraft because the cat also purrs as you're sleeping, as you're falling asleep, the cat's going and it's, it's, it's the best. Okay. It's just, it's the best. Okay, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that fact. Bye!